I don't know where he's going, but that is a big reindeer. Now, I'm worried with this new scoring system that it's going to not make the required score for diamond. But also, he's got like a lot of tines and stuff, and I do feel like those ones with the wider palms and stuff do actually end up scoring higher. So I don't know what he's doing. Like, it says he's drinking. Hello. You're a pretty big one, too. You know what? I'll use the gun on that just in case, because I know fours are making diamond. He's actually kind of got the antlers I like, because we're not going to spook that other one. But we're going to try to get him with a bow. I mean, we've been doing that. That's the plan. And, I mean, maybe he's even going to come back. Like, they do weird things. I just joined the server. Like, this was the last outpost I was at. Did he just turn around? I can't spot him, but he's just walking in circles out there. All right, well, the wind's bad. But maybe if I scoot up and around here to the left, I can just call him in. And then hopefully I can remember to go back for the other one, but... While he's doing whatever he's doing there, we'll try to get in position. It certainly adds a degree of difficulty uh, not being able to see him. Like, I marked roughly where I thought he was. But just when he appears to be walking in circles like that, it's hard to say, like, what we should do. I don't know if I should call from here. I mean, I don't think he went, like, left and over to that other lake. I think I would have saw that but I really just don't know. I'll try hitting the collar and see if he comes in. I mean, I've got the 420 grain arrows equipped. Probably we should be fine to get hidden somewhere if he does actually come in, but I just need to like figure out what he's doing because I'm a little worried just because of him not seeming to know what he wants to do. I'll try to watch around me too, make sure he's not gonna end up leaving with one of those because I don't understand what they're doing like they should all be drinking right now well I don't see him and just in case like I don't want to run around yet because he might end up just going back like to this lake where I initially saw him because I first spotted him here and he was kind of just heading back that way by the time I got actually going with this video so he maybe because I just joined the server is gonna come back and drink here oh there he is so he's nervous. Maybe I spooked him. But I think, like, in the past, that's definitely a diamond. No problem. I don't know about now. But he's nervous. The good news is this is Medved Taiga, and there's, like, plenty of open area, and we ought to be able to see him. But the wind is not good. It's going to be difficult to get him with the bow. Maybe he's just going to stay in there. Maybe he's going to trot off for a bit and then come back. But actually what I'm going to do is try to scoot up and go claim that other one that we killed real quick. And then maybe that'll give us time. And plus, I'm going to need to be this direction anyway, like with the way the wind is. The further around him I can get, the better. But at least we know where he's at now. And at least he's not trotting in a circle. You know what? While he's there, leave a marker on him so we know like roughly where he was. Because they're kind of unpredictable, especially now with that new nervous state. But I think this other reindeer actually could be a diamond. Like, he had the estimate, and he kind of has the wide palms, so... I don't know. Nah, not even close. It is so weird. Like, that's only 304, but ones that look very similar score over 400? I don't really know. But we're going to try to get back here. We're going to see if we can figure out what he's up to, because I did have to have him out of sight for a bit. I would like to go this way, but I really want to know where he's at first and the longer this takes the more the wind is actually going to shift into our favor and if he drinks here which i think he does i have him drinking but i don't have any zone for it so it's hard to say for sure but if he drinks here and we just wait on the wind we should be okay and he's just chilling out there he hasn't really gone far at all so i don't know what to do I guess we'll try to follow him for now. He's doing all kinds of weird stuff. I'm legitimately wondering, like, if I am going to gain ground just walking behind him. Because he goes from trot to walk a lot. I think he's in that same state that we kind of saw him in where he's sort of going in circles, but trying to go this general direction. 
Bet you that's him. Now, as long as I haven't spooked him, he may be out of that nervous state by now. And we're going to try to get him to come in because we're actually in a good spot. The wind is okay. I think we can be fully hidden here. I don't know where he is. There's a good chance this rock is in the way. Gotta be in closer to the main part of the tree to be completely hidden. This is such a weird situation. I think I'm gonna get into this bush, because these hide you too and you can see a little better from them. But like, if he's still nervous, which I don't know how long the nervous state lasts, he's not gonna come in. And I just don't know like, if he is or not. So I might be wasting my time, but hopefully he comes this way. I think... Yeah, I can hear footsteps. Somewhere... Right there, and that is him, too. Okay. I think he's coming in. Let's make sure we're fully hidden again. I'm not sure if he's just, like, walking around... Doing that weird thing because of his... Whole, like, drinking but not drinking thing. Actually, could hardly spot him there. All right. That's like 20-ish. Let's let him take another step, because he's going to, I think. All right. Hopefully that got a vital. Actually, I'm not sure it did. Nah, it totally didn't. All right. I hate to do this, but we're going to have to use a gun. Just to save the diamond, because... Ah, didn't want to lose him. I really, I would have just waited and tried to get another arrow in him, but I think that would have killed him eventually. And I probably shot too low. But just the way this guy was acting, I really didn't want to, like, wait any longer. And to be honest, I think I could have made the shot initially, like I said, I was going to let him take another step. The angle got so much worse. I should have just taken it initially, but hopefully we still got it. Yeah, he's still a diamond. He's 421. So he's a big one. Even though it's a pretty low weight. And yeah. I did shoot too far forward. Wait. Kind of like... That so... It may have been the wind. I don't remember which way the wind was blowing. But I think I'm right in saying had I just taken that shot initially, we'd have been fine. But luckily the new scoring system works this way. I hate that I uh, kind of had to use the gun. But I am glad that I was able to get the shot in there and that he didn't just run off and we lost the diamond, so we'll take that. That is a weird one. Not exactly how it was supposed to work, but I'm just glad we got the shot in there because that could have been a whole lot worse. So honestly, right now, I don't know what I want to do with this reindeer because we have another diamond reindeer somewhere in this lodge. I don't even know where I put it, but we could eventually do the multi-mount with like three diamonds. I don't know if I want to do that. That might look cool. But maybe we can, if we can find rares eventually, that might be a better option. But I think for now, we're just going to place them in here. Definitely not how that was supposed to go. But the fact that we still got a diamond out of him after all that, I'm pretty happy with that. So I think we're probably just going to leave him there. And then we'll figure out something to do with the multi-mounts at some point in the future. But yeah, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.